I want to reiterate that uh, I'm not here at all to be critical of anything that's been done. We'd like to just uh, more or less pick the ball up on the field where it is at the present time. And I think there has been a breakdown in communications. I think there's been a deterioration of goodwill. And uh, with these two elements in my mind present, we just want to do some positive planning to go uh, go from uh, from this, this position. Yeah, I think, gentlemen, you found that in uh, my approach to problem solving, I'm not here to be critical of anybody or anybody's administration. That's that's not our purpose. Uh, we just like to analyze the situation as it presently exists and uh, then move forward from this uh, position. It has been amply demonstrated that when any level of government fails to fully meet its responsibilities, that another level of government steps in and assumes those responsibilities. I think you've demonstrated and you've shown in the past that you can meet your responsibilities on the local level. And this must and is a challenge for you to continue. Our democratic system works, and we all know it works well. And it works well because local responsiveness to local problems will never be a thing of the past. Recently, as two weeks ago, the Postmaster General was in my office for the seventh or eighth time that I've been in personal contact with him in regard to our new post office building here. I'm, thorough, I'm absolutely convinced that the Postmaster General, Mr. Blunt, nor the Post Office Department in any way has any control over what has been done. The administration, the, the White House, has uh, impounded the money we could say they have decreed that there will be a 75 percent holding up of the spending of money that come in this comes in this category so uh, i'm sorry to say that there is nothing new and no new hope uh, that the post office for dallas will be authorized in the immediate future The significance of the, uh, this installation can be appreciated when you realize that this machine will process mail at the rate of about 43,000 pieces per hour and uh, save approximately $2 per thousand pieces sorted as compared to the usual way of uh, manually processing mail.
the largest and perhaps one of the most powerful professional associations in the state, begins its 91st annual convention here tonight in San Antonio. It's the Texas State Teachers Association. When this body meets in its three-day convention, as most conventions, there'll be study sessions and exhibits. But more importantly, the real focus for this meeting will come on Saturday when the House of Delegates meets to vote on resolutions of improvements in education which they would like to be put into Texas education law and practice. At this moment, TSTA is concerned with improving education by improving the professional status of teachers. Support from this on the national level comes from one of tonight's speakers, National Education Association's Executive Director, Sam Lambert. The NEA will never become a part of the general labor movement. It will not become an organic part of the labor movement, simply because the NEA, the teachers of this country, are determined to be completely independent. They're going to call their own signals, about what's important, what they're going to do. They're not going to participate in secondary boycotts and this type of thing that goes on in the field of, of labor organizations. I hope I can somehow lay to rest this old business about this grand conspiracy which uh, has been appearing in some of the, uh, the papers here in, in Texas. To your knowledge, has the AFT, AFT, or teacher union, made sufficient inroads in Texas to be considered as something I to be merged I don't in. think they've made any inroad in Texas at all. Uh, as far as I can find, they only have one local. I'm not sure about this. I've been told they only have one local, and that has nine members. This is not much of an inroad into a state that has, what is it, close to 90,000 or 100,000 teachers? Something like that. Tomorrow morning, the group will be addressed by Governor Preston Smith. This is Teal Salon in San Antonio with the Texas State Teachers Association. Those who have suggested that county governments in any form have lost their value they have as little conception of the realities and the necessities of our democratic system as do those who argue that state governments are outmoded. 